Well, check that out for a morning, guys. It is flat out. So that means one thing, we're off on the kayak this morning and we're heading to the back of those rocks over there with an ebb and tide. We're currently two and a half hours to low water. We'll probably be fishing a couple of hours of the uh, flood of the tide and see if we can hook some big bass. Let's get out there. Hopefully we can get one for the barbecue tonight. Now the sun's just coming up. It's going to be a lovely day out there. Beautiful. So we're all kitted out, ready to go, guys. We've got our fishing rod there. We're going to be using our pen, Squadron 3, 20 to 50 gram uh, rod today. We've got our pen reel, HTO 2500. And there's a selection of the lures we're going to be just uh, keeping on us. That we'll be using most of the time. We've got Ultra there. We've got these new Lazy Lures to try, given to us by uh, Lazy Lures Official. Go and uh, give them a follow on Instagram. We'll put those to the test. We've got the green ones and uh, the white ones. We've got other... <coughs> Another one there, another lazy there, in a cotton candy colour. So yeah, we're all kitted out. Some more lures there, our bag. The main thing's the kayak. Sun coming up in the background. We've got our life jacket on. As always, wear a life jacket when you're out on the kayak and even out on the sea. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm out for sleep still. Water clarity is crystal clear. Hopefully, the fish are out to play. Let's get out on the high seas. And another thing as well, I'm gonna be doing all the video on the um, chest harness today. I might, uh, not on the chest harness, sorry, the head harness. Uh, you might get a bit of a better view. So yeah, I'm just waiting for a new bracket to come for the GoPro, uh, for the uh, kayak, sorry. Um, so I can <coughs> put the uh, GoPro on the uh, mount and you'll have a better view. But for now, we'll have to do what we can do. We'll just hope there's a few fish out there. Let's get out there and hit the high seas. Well. Wow. Flat seas. <laughs> okay, yeah, what a beautiful day. Alright, we're off. Give you a show of that sunrise. Look at that. It's absolutely breathtaking out here this morning. Stunning. I can't believe how peaceful it is out here, guys. Just before I'll give you a little bit of a relaxing couple of seconds steering the paddle and yeah feel like you're on the kayak this is the view you're going to have today guys on the uh <laughs> kayak i say head harness i'll keep the head as still as uh i possibly can if anyone's uh yeah i guess vertigo or stuff like that we're keeping that head as still as possible so you don't feel like you're on a roller coaster so hopefully it's a roller coaster or a fishing ride and we can get a lot of bass this morning we're going to a mark you, you would have seen me <laughs> out on the channel before I'm fishing on a very small tide today though, a 6.2 high, that's all it is, so very very small, but I've caught bass on the small tides before, so it's not to say that we won't today, it's just nice to be out anyway, when it's like this, and you got, you got scars like that, yeah, let's get out there. Alright, let's get our first cast out there guys, <clears throat> so hopefully the um, film's going to do alright, we're going to start off with the Pachinko, 140 in a sand deal collar. That bloody tide is being a pain, it's swinging me around all the time. Just a bit of a nuisance, don't want that. I want to be casting towards those heads there. I've had bass here before. So, so we'll start off with a surf slurf. We have no um, interest. We'll uh, change over to a soft plastic. But yeah, you get a little bit of, of a view like this. This is prime, prime. Oh, there's fish on the surface there guys yeah i've got fish behind my leg. look at this i want one for the table this morning yeah there's fish behind me whether it's garfish or bass i don't know yeah look at that you see that guys look all the fish behind me there oh it's garfish it is alive with garfish <laughs> don't want garfish i want bass come on yeah i've got a barbecue tonight so I'd like maybe one or two. You can see the garfish jumping over there. Maybe there's a ball of bait fish here. Maybe the bass are in between, hopefully. I say this is just, just a potluck shot here. We'll go to the proper mark shortly. I might just stick on a soft plastic just to see if there's a bass just beneath the garfish. Yeah, look at that, guys. Bass. I've changed over to the Pachinko and literally it hit me at the uh, side of the kayak. Look at that, he's hit. Whoa, he's 
hooked under the belly. Check that out, I think he is anyway. Yeah, all right. Now a little bit of line now. Oh, let's pop that in there for a second. Oh, right, a little bit more line now. Right. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 calm down, buddy. Calm down. Whoa, calm down. Oh, buddy, how? <laughs> but yeah, four sets, guys. Just pops out like so. You don't want to get hooking your hand when you're out on the kayak, that's for sure. On the pachinko. Check that out. Lovely little bass. They go well back nicely. Pop you down there, we are. All right, he's ready. Beautiful. Cheers, buddy. Let's go and get another one. Well, that woke me up a little bit, guys. <laughs> I said it's just been goldfish after goldfish following the lure in. Yeah. And that little buddy, wanted, he wanted the lure, that's for sure. He steam trained the lure. That's why he had the hook under the belly. He just ran straight. Oh, look at that. We're in again. Woohoo! Woo! There's a lot of fish here, guys, in this little bit of run. Found a little bit of tide here. As I hope the video is coming out all right for you. I, uh... Oh, look at the goldfish following him. That's what you want. There's goldfish everywhere, just jumping. But this is definitely a basil. So I want one... Oh, no, it's a goldfish. It's a massive, massive goldfish. I think, anyway, is it? No, it's a bass. <laughs> I thought it was a goldfish. And I was about to say, that's the biggest goldfish I've seen. Oh, well, here we go again. A little bit of line up, Pachinko and Sandy 140 guys is doing the bizzo. Always the surface lures out here do the job <clears throat> for some reason. Oh yeah, oh, oh. oh pop that in there, little bit of line out. There we are. All right, again. Lovely little bass. Pop that first hook out. Oh, there we are with these. It's so much easier with the. Um, the unhookers. There we are, straight off again. Pop that down there. Another little bass. Beautiful. Let's get this one released. Let's save a few more in here. There we are, guys. One lovely little bass. Look a bit of a tip with the head harness. But if the video comes out alright, I'm willing to look like a Wally. <laughs> but there we are. Lovely bass. Let's get back out there and let's see the Pachinko get smashed again. You little beauty. Check that out in the sun, guys. Lovely little bass. Check that out. Let's give him a couple of seconds just to recover. He gave me a hell of a fight. Yeah, off he goes. Cheerio, buddy. Sun's nicely up now. Only one out here. There's life everywhere on the surface. I'm just going to paddle back up. Get that pachinko, and if you've seen it earlier, get that pachinko back out. 140 in sand deal collar. Go to Mr. Fish and uh, hook up with a few of these lures and you won't be, uh, yeah, disappointed. Beautiful. Right, let's see if we can get you an action uh, pat hit on the pachinko. <laughs> so we come right back up now. What we're doing is letting that lure sit just for a couple of seconds and then twitching that rod. Getting that pachinko splashing on the surface and we're gonna go back down with the tide. And hopefully, yeah, the lure gets munched. I always find the pachinko around here always does really well for some reason. I don't know why. Look at the goldfish there. Jumping. And you can't beat top water fishing either. Just something about it. When that bass hits that lure, it's crazy. But yeah, the goldfish must be here for something. There must be bait fish or something here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> goldfish literally jumped right next to the lure. Well, not doing anything too fast, guys. Slowest retrieve, nothing special. It's all about getting that twitch and using that wrist to get that lure slalom them in. Um, yeah, making a lot of racket on the uh, on the um, surface. That's we oh, always had a boil beyond the lure. Then could have been a garfish. Yeah, you don't beat this. I'm the only one out here. Half past seven in the morning, it's absolutely ba oh, bacon already. What was that, goth? Oh, tangled. Yeah, half past seven in the morning, and it's absolutely roasting. 
Oh, we're just paddling back up, guys. Stairs a small tide. There's quite a bit of tide run here, to be honest. We're drifting pretty fast, really. But yeah, just in front of me, Adam, if you can pick it up on the camera, guys, that little bit of run, bit of rip on the top of the surface. There's a big patch of boulders there. And the tide runs over the top, but I reckon the bass are sat down behind there. And as my pachinko comes over the top, boom, they're nailing us. But yeah, that fish would have been sized. I want something a little bit bigger for the barbecue. I said we've got a family barbecue coming up tonight. So it'd be nice having a little bit of bass on the barbie. Hope you're enjoying this one, guys. If you are, smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to see uh, yeah, more kayak videos. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying the footage like this on the chest, uh, on the head harness, sorry, or you prefer it on the um, chest, I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, just cheers for watching uh, the channel recently. So since those couple of bass guys, it's been pretty dead. So I've come quite a ways up now to another little um, bay, horseshoe bay here. A bit more tide here running. I've uh, done well here in the past. Still using the pachinko at the moment. But the tide's normally a lot lower than it is today. When I come out here, like I said, we've got small tides today. But we'll do what we can. We haven't blanked, so two bass is better than none. Just be nice to get that one. <laughs> to take but there's still time it's a little bit deeper here but I can see the bottom so perfect perfect ground all bouldery weedy sandy patches perfect uh, habitat for the bass to be mooching around hunting bait fish and hopefully hunting my lure <laughs> Come on, bass. Uh, not drifting too, too fast here, which is quite good. I want to change over, I think, just to see if a uh, soft plastic will make the difference. Might go to, what do we go for? What do we go for? A white savage gear, I reckon. Oh, for the white savage. Give that a go and see if we get any interest. We've got bass beyond the lure here, guys. I've come right over to the other side now to another bay. I was having oh the golf for sure jumping. That was definitely a bass. A nice big boil on the surface lure there. That's yeah, so I can say if you're not getting any lock in one bay, guys, and you've had gold nose any chocks with nothing, yeah, just move. Bass are always, always on the move. They're not going to stay in the same place all the time. They'll follow bait fish. That was definitely a bass that chased that lure around. The size of the, bo <laughs> the boil. We're not moving too fast here either, which is quite nice. Just spin the kayak a little bit. That's the only thing. Got to be <laughs> just turning the kayak all the time. Just spinning with that tide a little bit. Ugh. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of area to uh, cover around here, that's for sure. Come on. Just give me one beauty. The sun's well, well hot now, guys. And it's half past eight in the morning. <laughs> We're fishing over here. It's just a big uh, reef here at the moment. Quick as that, they're gone. Well, <coughs> just paddling uh, slowly back, guys. Apart from those two bass, it's been pretty quiet, to be honest. And a few flutters uh, <coughs> behind the lure and stuff like that, but yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about, that's for sure. 
But yeah, I'll try a few spots on the way back and uh, yeah, see if we can find maybe one more. But yeah, not the best, but it's been nice to get out of here anyway, to be honest. It's been very nice. Yes, we are, guys. Hey, <laughs> we've got a bass on here. Oh no, it's a bloody garfish. Ah, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. <laughs> They're pretty dangerous on the kite. That's the only thing so they can zip straight into you. I don't want that. Oh, there he is. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, guys, the uh, long nose, they got uh, green bones. Yeah. You get them all year round now. Summer species they used to be, but you get them all year round. So he's going to shake the hook. He's not going to, is he? Lovely. Right, hopefully, I can just get him off with the, um, with the, um, oh, these things. Well, I was just trawling back in, guys. Just thought I'd just troll behind the uh, back of the boat with a savage gear there. But yeah, managed to pick up another little basil. I didn't uh, have the camera on for it, sorry about that. But yeah, just done it in the bay. So I might have a quick few flicks in the bay here and see if there's another one. But yeah, fantastic little fisher. Happy days. So we no trawling worse on the kayak. <laughs> so there we are, guys. One little bass from trolling. I wasn't expecting, no, I'd literally just turned around and uh, yeah, seeing the rod doubled up, <laughs> and this little beauty took the savage girl there. Just fast that one there. Just thought I'd have a go on the way back in. Had nothing for ages and come in the bay. And yeah, happy days. So there we are. One little bazo. Let's give him a couple of seconds. We've him out the water for a few seconds. But check that out in the water. That's beautiful. Run the water back through his gills. Look at that gold on that flesh. That's fantastic. Look at that. Cheerio, buddy. There he goes. Oh, he gave me a bit of a bath. <laughs> Whew. So we're back up the van now, guys. Kite's all packed up, ready to go home. Oh, it's a warm one out there today. So it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a hot one. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little video, guys. With those three bass in the end. I don't think I've got the last one on the uh, camera. As I didn't press the button, I don't think it took me a bit by surprise. So I was just trawling the lower back in, turned around, and the rod was uh, bent over. And uh, yeah, we managed to hook that little bass. I thought it was going to go a little bit better than it did with the start we had. Uh, two bass early on, but small tides, so you can't expect too, too much really. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, guys, remember to smash that like button. It helps my channel get out there to uh, new places. That's the main thing, the like. And uh, yeah, if you like this content and you want to see more and different varieties of fishing, yeah, feel free to subscribe as well, guys. So, happy days. I'm going to go enjoy the sun. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the sea again soon, guys. Keep fishing and stay safe. See you next time.